hello and welcome to a new video today we have part two of the declutter series so we are decluttering my makeup collection and if you haven't seen the other video uh you can watch it afterwards um yeah so let's get started oh and if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe because i upload videos every first day so let's get into the video <laughs> so i store my makeup in the stressor so i'm gonna show you how it looks right now so that's all of my makeup um there's just some jewelry and my tangle teaser yeah so we're gonna take the whole thing out on the table and go through it okay so this is my makeup collection um yeah so let's just start these two foundations Oh, the it cosmetics uh, your skin but better cc cream um i have them in two different colors one of them is in fair and the other one in light the lighter one uh, the light one is the darker one and the fair one is the light one um i like both of them and as you can see this one is nearly gone and this one as well so i will definitely repurchase them and i use both of them because i have to mix them so we're keeping those then this uh, is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. Um, I got this a while ago, probably like two years ago. And it's nearly done. It's maybe like until here. But I don't use it anymore. So I'm just going to get rid of it. And I also think that they test on animals. And I don't want to be part of that. Here you can see the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. It's my only mascara. It's my favorite mascara. I only use this one. So I'm keeping this. So these ones are all of my lip liners. Uh, I have the NYX um, Picapo Neutral. Uh, two times uh, but one is in my bag I really love it and it's one of the best lip liners as well as the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk I only have one of it but they're really similar and they're my favorite uh, lip liners so I'm keeping both of them then I have I have the trended up lip liner I don't really like the color so I'm getting rid of this one and also I'm getting rid of this red NYX lipstick just because I don't wear red. And I'm also getting rid of this Catrice Long Lasting Lip Pencil in color is this upper brown side. And uh, the NYX one was uh, spicy. Here is spicy. And the trended up one is in 430. So I'm getting rid of those three. And the Huda Beauty Lip Liner is left it's in bombshell so i'm keeping this one because it's also very pretty and it came in a set uh, so all of those three things were together so it came in a set all of those three things were together you have a liquid lipstick in bombshell the lip liner in bombshell and a lip gloss in a lip gloss in ritzy um i like both of these ones a lot I don't wear the lip gloss at all. It's very metallic -y and I don't like it, so I'm getting rid of this and I'm keeping both of those. Then I have my eyebrow pencil. I have two of them because I go through them quite frequently and I don't check how much is left and then at some point I've done one eyebrow and the other one is not done and it's my pencil is empty, so I always have more than one at home. Uh, so yeah, it's the uh, in uh, what color? In dark. Yeah. So I really like these ones. They're really similar to the NYX um, uh, eyebrow pencils, but they're cheaper. So I'm getting them. And also, Catrice uh, doesn't test on animals. Then here you can see my soft glam uh, payload from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, it's really loved, especially like those colors here and also this one um yeah i'm keeping it it's the only uh palette i own 
so I really enjoy it. So I'm taking this thing out for now. We will go through uh, the brushes in a bit later. Then I have my Hourglass Ambient Lightning uh, Palette. Uh, yeah, so I really like it. I use it daily, basically. Uh, even though you can't really tell, like, especially this one. <laughs> so I'm keeping it. Then here's my butter bronzer. Uh, I use this in summer a lot and right now I'm using mainly the hourglass one sometimes, also this butter bronzer. So I'm keeping it because I still love it. Uh, yep. <laughs> However, I have a bronzer from Catrice. It's it's all rubbed off so you can't really tell but it was in but it was in bronze medium and also the lid fell off. I didn't use it a lot because I... But however, you can see the pen here, so... But I'm getting rid of it because I haven't used it in a long time. And I have other products I like better. Um, then I have a powder here, the Bye Bye Pores Pressed uh, in, in Translucent. And... Oops. I basically don't ever use this. Um, yeah, I don't know. I we don't use powder regularly, it, but just to in case I need one, I'm keeping it. I'm not so sure about this one, so I'll think about it. I have the HD Liquid Coverage Foundation from Catrice. It's a nice foundation, uh, it's really full coverage and I like it. However, I really, really, really like the uh, CC uh, cream from It Cosmetics a lot more and I only use this, I haven't used this in a while. You can see like it's all halfway done, but I also think that it is breaking me out so I haven't used it, so I'm getting rid of it. I have the Hollywood Flawless Filter um, from Charlotte Tilbury. I got this in Barcelona. If you haven't seen my Barcelona vlog, you can watch it after this video. Um, I didn't play around with it a lot, so I want to keep it definitely and just see how it performs. Uh, if you have any tips how to use it exactly, uh, just mix it in your foundation or use it as a primer, I don't know. Um, so yeah, just let me know, but I'm keeping it. So these are most of my lipsticks. I will get the other ones in a second, but let's go just quickly through them because there are some I'm getting rid of. Uh, for example, like, so here's MAC, it's Velvet Teddy. Uh, I got this like three or four years ago, like when the color Jenner thing was a thing and I really enjoy the color. So even though MAC um, isn't cruelty free, I will keep it just because I uh, got it before I was looking, I wasn't purchasing uh, cruelty free products and it would be a waste to get rid of it because I really enjoy the color. So I'm keeping this. Um, the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. I really, really love this uh, lip cream. However, it's basically done. Um, it's basically empty. Let me see. Yeah, you can sort of see it, but it's not full coverage anymore. But I really love it. Uh, it looks really good on your lips. So I'm getting rid of it because it's empty and I can't probably use it anymore. But at some point I will repurchase it. And here's... Uh, this one was a gift. Uh, it's also a MAC lipstick in uh, Zushi Kiss App, App 5. I don't know. It's like this really weird color. The, it's not true color on camera right now. It's like this really 
corally color and it's really orangey and bright and yeah the camera doesn't pick it up correctly uh, yeah so I don't like it I'm getting rid of it and I know that there's this back-to-back -back program so I think I have two more products so with this one it's free and my mom uses a lot of MAC mascaras so, so when uh, she fin finishes her mascaras I can bring it back to MAC and uh, give my mom a free eyeshadow. So the NYX Liquid Suite in uh, Soft Spoken. I really like this color so I'm keeping this. Uh, I'm keeping this Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. I'm keeping this Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip gloss in vintage. And I'm also keeping this lingerie lipstick in bedtime flirt. And I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in Hollywood. Um, it's a nice color, however, I have to mix it because it's oh, not. Uh, it looks weird on my lips it's a, yeah but it's a nice color uh for now so i'm keeping it for now i don't know <laughs> then i have a nyx professional makeup gel for like getting eyeliner as you can see it's barely used but when i do I, I make an eyeliner i use this or this as well so I'm keeping both of these things this next powder puff uh, lippy it's not really my favorite color and I don't gravitate to it like at all so I'm getting rid of it the next thing is a Becca liquid highlight in opal um, it's basically Done. As, of course you could get this thing out but it's really old and I don't use it anymore so I'm getting rid of it and it came in a set together with the Becker highlight also in opal like this yeah so as you can see there's quite a dip in there I mean it's a highlight I don't use it every day um, there's that Here's a lip scrub from Lush. Um, I will probably put it in my shower and use it there because I don't use it when it's in my makeup collection like at all. And it's really sad because it's a nice thing. So in the shower, I will probably use it up Yeah, in its space also already. Uh, yeah. So it, as you can see, it's really old, but... Mm. But I got really... Yeah, I think I will still use it in the shower. Then I have this uh, chopstick from Dresner Essence. I don't like it. Uh, it was a gift. I have a Veleda one. Uh, I like a lot more, so I'm getting rid of this one. Uh, here you can see a lot of samples from perfume. I'm uh, keeping them because my grandma always uses them and whenever I purchase something I get the thing and same goes with like this is also just a little sample size cream so my grandma will get it. So this one I will probably keep for myself. It's just a red lipstick. I know I told you I don't wear it but I just wanted to try it out so I'm keeping it for now. Here's a hand cream I got together with the uh, chapstick. I don't use it, I don't like it, so I'm getting rid of it as well. Uh, there was also a shower gel and I just used it as, as hand soap, so at least I used the other one up. Then you here I have my Real Techniques, uh, Real Techniques makeup sponge, it's used so it's dirty. Don't. Yeah, so I'm sorry for that, uh, but I'm keeping it. It's a new one. Uh, I got it two weeks ago, so yeah, <laughs> I just have to clean it again. Here I have some single shadows. 
and this one is super old like really old this was from the cookies and cream limited edition it's from essence and i don't know i was like 12 or something so it's like seven years old now yeah and i hit the pan and it's beautiful shadow like really beautiful hi the light doesn't pick it up the right way but it's gorgeous yeah you can't really tell it's not that gray it's more gold brown it's like a perfect shade and i love it a lot and it's so creamy and it smells fine so <laughs> i'm keeping it it's not a cream product so it's okay and this is an eyeshadow from mac i got it from back to mac uh, so i wouldn't go there and purchase it again but this color is also one of my favorite colors it's just this really nice rose a uh, rosy shimmer thing. It's really beautiful. I, the camera unfortunately doesn't pick it up the right way but it's really pretty and I use it for my inner corner of the eye so I'm keeping this. is a set from P P2. Uh, you can't purchase this um, brand anymore. It, was, it got replaced by Trend It Up uh, so you could only buy it in German drugstores anyway. Uh, it's a, also a really nice like mini mini uh, eyeshadow palette I guess and I just love this color uh, The other two not so much, but this color is really pretty and when I go on vacation or like to travel I like to get just take this whole thing and you, you don't have to take the whole palette So for that it's really convenient and I have another Mac eyeshadow my mom purchased and gave to me it's the one in texture texture um, it's also really mm, you can tell it's old yeah I'm getting rid of this one but I'm keeping this then I have the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer um, the concealing pot in medium and it was like <laughs> a completely fail because you can't see in the camera, but it's really orange and dark. Um, yeah, I can't even take it out with my nails. <laughs> like The color is just completely wrong for my skin tone. And yeah, I don't like it, so <laughs> I'm getting rid of it. In the camera, it doesn't look so bad, actually. But in real life, it's not... It doesn't... Just believe me, it's the wrong skin color for my skin um, just a kabuki brush I use for my IT Cosmetics for my hourglass palette uh, from Abilene it's uh, the brand you can get in the local drugstore a sharpener from Essence yeah I need it for my lip um, liner so I'm keeping this and uh, here I have this huge powder brush from Real Techniques in I don't know yeah powder just powder brush and yeah I'm keeping it I'm basically I'm only getting rid of a few brushes um this one is not one of them and this brush is a foundation brush from Lancome um yeah it doesn't work well as a foundation brush I will probably just use it for my masks, uh, for, for the face, so I don't have to get my fingers dirty, I can just use this. Um, so I will repurpose it because it's a really brief, pretty uh, brush. <laughs> Here is another powder brush by Zoeva. Um, I'm keeping it. A contour brush and another contour brush, I'm keeping it. Then there's this just a brush for your face uh, for your eyes I'm getting rid of this one as well as this one I don't like the quality of those they're just something my mom got and they're like not so nice I'm also getting rid of this uh, brow line thing because I don't use like a brow pomades or something I used to have the Anastasia one but it just doesn't look good when I 
paint my eyebrows like really really heavy so I don't need it I'm getting rid of this one uh, this is my bronzer um, brush I use it for the butter bronzer so I'm keeping it my fan brush for my highlighter I'm keeping it um, my rouge uh, blush uh, it was like my really first one it's really old and I don't ever use it it's from uh, body so it's you can buy it at Müller in Germany so I'm getting rid of this one then here I have my um, brush for my winged eyeliner from also from Sueva like the wing liner brush so I'm keeping this so I'm getting rid of this this brush um, I don't ever use it. I, I think it's a lip liner thing. Yeah, I don't use it. And this lip liner brush from Real Techniques. I use it uh, for the MAC shadow, the really pretty one for my inner eye corner. It's really nice and so I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it. My two eyeshadow brushes in Soft Lux Soft Definer and Lux Crease. I'm getting rid of this highlighter brush because I prefer the fan brush. And this thing for my eyebrows, I'm keeping it because it's some, sometimes I spray it with hairspray or something and just to keep my eyebrows in place, so I'm keeping it. And um, yeah, so there's basically my tweezers left. So this one is from Teaser Man and this one is just from my... Oh no, it's from Douglas. It's like Sephora in Germany. Um, I'm getting rid of this one because it's really old. My mom used it and she got a new one because it's not so nice anymore. And I got this one because this doesn't work so good anymore. So there's no point in keeping it. So I'm just keeping this gold one. And here's my scissor. Uh, I'm keeping it because you need it for, you know, cutting your nails. I mean, at least your toe, toe not your toes, but your toenails. How are they called? <laughs> So yeah, everything else are just the brushes I'm keeping in there and the stuff I have from my grandma. So here you can see everything I'm getting rid of. I'm also getting rid of this. Oops. And here you can see everything I'm keeping. I'll just uh, really quickly get uh, all of the other lipsticks in my purses and jackets and everything. We will go through them really quickly. And then we're done. Okay, I found three more things. However, I'm not sure if it's really everything. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills. How is it called? Uh, the Dusty Rose Liquid Lipstick. Um, it's really pretty. I like the color. Uh, so I'm keeping it. And here's the other Peekaboo Neutral NYX eye, uh, Lip Liner. And here's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Lipstick in Honey. And when I got them, they were a gift. I thought I would like the Hollywood better and this one not so much, but it turns out that this color is like the perfect nude for me. It looks really great on the lips. I didn't, couldn't believe it. I think, yeah. So here you can see the comparison. Uh, here's the Hollywood and here's the Honey. It's like a bit too thick, but yeah. So that's how they look. It's a really pretty color, so, and I kind of seem to have a lipstick problem, but I always did, so I guess it's okay. I'm keeping all of them because I obviously use them, I got them out of my purses, and yeah, uh, as you can tell, I have a lot of lip products in comparison to my other products, so yeah, but I what I own, I use everything except for the stuff I decluttered um, yeah I just like to have different options so this is how it looks um, everything put back in and that's everything I'm getting rid of and this here um, I'll put it in the shower oh, and this here belongs there okay so there's that so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't seen part one of the Declutter series, I invite you to watch it. And subscribe to my channel for videos every first day. 
So, see you. Bye.